Hello everybody, this is Paradox2767, and today I thought I'd count down my top 10 all-time favorite mocks, um, Lego mocks, specifically based on horror pop culture, basically. Um, just so you guys know, this uh, little list here will have a couple spoilers for sure, and there might be some graphic imagery, so I guess viewer discretion advised. But with all that being said, let's get right into my all-time favorite Lego horror mocks. All right, at number 10 is a mock based on the second Jeepers Creepers movie where a bunch of high schoolers are basically stuck in a school bus in the middle of nowhere and their drive home is interrupted by none other than the, you know, titular Jeepers Creepers himself. I just thought this was a cool mock because of how it sort of cinematic and captures the mood of the movie pretty darn well. By the way, for uh, all of these, uh, sets hopefully you'll be able to catch on the screen at some some place uh, the the builders of these specific sets so I thought I'd just basically do a screen grab so you can uh, go back and check that out yourself uh, number nine we have a mock based on the cabin in the woods now this might have even been a little higher had the photography been a little bit better to be perfectly honest but even still I had to have it on my list because I just love what they were able to do here at this micro scale you have at the top a the, you know titular cabin in the woods uh, and then below that if you've seen the movie there's a whole underground segment where all these different movie monsters are basically being boxed off in their own compartments uh, ready to be unleashed on the kind of experimental heroes like I said spoilers <laughs> uh, and then at the very bottom there's like this elevator lobby full of uh, monsters when they're all released and it's just like the most chaotic scene in a movie ever um, I'm not saying these are my top 10 horror movies by the way but these are definitely some awesome mocks based on horror um, so yeah like I said photography could have could have been better but they even have like the giant bat and giant snake I just thought this was a really cool looking mock so I had to put it on my list Next up, one of many you'll find online uh, based on The Shining. Now this one would have perhaps ranked higher had it not been, I think this is basically just a digital mock-up of a possible uh, mock. So for that reason it didn't get any higher. But I do like how they included Jack here. Um, and then of course freaking out in the bathroom is Shelley Duvall. And they even have this snow mound basically where Danny's able to escape. Um, all of those little details made this a very complete feeling piece. And of course I always like it when uh, mocks are labeled. So that is number eight. Number seven, I have a mock based on the second Friday the 13th movie. Um, this is a Jason Voorhees' lair, essentially, where he keeps his like mom's mummified head. Um, it's before Jason got his, you know, famous uh, hockey mask. So you see him here just accurately wearing a sack on his head. Then you have your final girl here. I'm ready to have a showdown. I just really liked all the different elements that they used to make this look like a dusty old nasty cabin. Uh, so that, that for sure was a worthy number seven. Uh, number six here we have a Beholder. Now there's a lot of different Beholder mocks. This is a monster from Dungeons and Dragons. A lot of different mocks you'll find online. I just thought this one had to take the cake um, on it's specifically like its eye geometry. It's very hard to get right based on a lot of the other mocks you'll see out there. I like how this one's drooling and has all these like intimidating looking fangs and tendrils. Um, so this one I thought was just awesome. Like that would be a great piece to have on the shelf. So definitely a cool kind of horror inspired mock there. Um, at number six, we have the mock based on the movie Saw. Um, I just thought that this set really kind of captured the feel of this scene. We've got our main character kind of sawing off his foot, basically. Um, and then you've got all this awesome tile work to make it really look like a bathroom. And I like how they've added some like mossy detail to the sinks there. I just thought this really captured the mood of the scene. And I, and I really love how this came out, even as the clock. Um, this just came out awesome. Uh, number five, we have a Neomorph attack. Now, this actually uh, was one of the mocks that inspired this list in the first place. Uh, I love the the way that the, the colors of this set really capture the lighting of this scene somehow in just a great way. Um, I like how, you know, it's all minifigure scale, which is cool to see. Um, we've got a cool build for a Neomorph. Uh, the, the chaos of this scene, I think, is really well, well captured here. Um, I know it's kind of a polarizing movie, Alien Covenant, the sequel to Prometheus, but I like the movie, I like this mock, I think it looks awesome. Now we have next up, like, number four, I believe, is this uh, Uzumaki mock based on the Junji Ito manga. 
of the same name. So uh, this is our main character. I think this is like in the very first chapter where she's coming into her town, her hometown, and she's overlooking the hill. I just thought this was a really cool forced perspective shot. We've got some of the cliff work here. We've got a distant lighthouse where some of the action of the manga will take place later. Um, and then if you, as you can see here, you've got all the little roofs here. And then the pond, if the town is already being infected by like the spirals that end up in infecting the entire town. Even these little grass details here are starting to spiral. Um, so I just thought that this was a really great way to, uh, you know, to show that town. And it's labeled again, like I said, I, thought, I just think that's kind of a cool detail. You got the beach here, like the whole, everything you need in one little awesome micro scale. Number, uh, this must be number two. <laughs> yeah, pardon my numbering here. <laughs> but this is uh, one of my all-time favorites. I love this Silent Hill 4 mock. Um, again, this isn't kind of a polarizing game. It's not necessarily everyone's favorite Silent Hill. I like it a lot. Um, but I feel like this mock makes me feel as anxious as the door does itself like in the game. I just think it looks so cool. Um, I love how they use all these different chain elements. I know some people probably wouldn't like don't like the idea of like writing on Legos, but I thought, you know, it's just like a necessary detail in this specific piece. Um, I really, really loved how this all came out. So for that reason, that's a solid number two. And then, so this is my all time favorite coming up. We have uh, a ring, the ring mock, man. I love this. I love this. It's um, based on the movie of the same name, the ring. You've got your main ghost here, Suma Samara, Samara, I believe. She's crawling out of a static tube TV. I love how they did the static with these different elements. I love how they've done her hair and her different fingers. Like, it's so creepy in the same way that the movie is. I just thought this was an awesome, awesome mock. So for that, that, that deserves a place in number one. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know if you agree, or if you've ever made a horror mock yourself you want to share, or if you've ever found anything that you thought feel like could have also been on this list. I'd love to see this stuff. I love horror, I love Lego, so it's a great, great excuse to combine the two. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I hope you found that interesting, and I'll catch you in the next one.